Are you worried that you might be going bald? Well, in this video, we will tell you the telltale signs of early male pattern baldness and what you can do about them. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from hairguard.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want updating on the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about. And if you're watching this video on how to know if you're going bold because you're personally worried about your hair loss, make sure to click the link in the description to take the hair guard hair loss quiz. You'll answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, and you'll receive free expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Now guys, without any further delay, let's get into it. What are the early signs of male pattern baldness? Well, number one is an excess of shedded hair in the shower or bathtubs. Guys, one of the main mechanisms of male pattern baldness is a change in the hair growth cycle. Normal hair goes through three different phases. Firstly, the anagen or growth phase, where the hair follicle is expanding and the hair is actively growing. In healthy hair, this typically lasts between three to five years. Second, we have the catagen or regression phase, where hair growth ceases and the follicle actually begins to shrink. This normally lasts a few weeks. And finally, there is the telogen or rest phase, when the hair follicle is completely at rest, ready to start its next anagen growth phase. Now it is during this phase, which lasts about three months, that the hair can fall off very easily, from even the slightest application of pressure. Now guys, in a healthy scalp, only a small proportion of hair will be at telogen at any given time, usually around 10%. Most of the remaining 90% will be in the anagen or growth phase, when the hair is firmly rooted by the follicle and very unlikely to fall off. But in male pattern baldness, the anagen or growth phase is dramatically reduced in duration from years all the way down to months and even weeks. This will result in a larger proportion of your scalp hair at the catagen and telogen phases. And guys, as we said, it is the hair in the telogen phase that can fall off at the slightest mechanical pressure. As for example, when you say you massage the shampoo into your scalp or wash it off with your hands. If you are concerned that you are losing many hairs when you simply have a shower, then a device like a hair catcher will allow you to keep track of the exact number of lost hairs and establish a baseline for future comparisons. Number two, guys, is excessive hairs on the pillows or bedsheet. For the same reasons that we just discussed, one of the first signs of hair loss that you might notice will be a larger than usual number of hairs on your pillows or in your bed sheets. Since you will spend approximately one third of your day in bed, this is where most telogen hairs will fall off as they rub against the pillows or sheets while you are sleeping. If you do think that you're seeing a lot of shed hairs when you wake up every morning, then you can try using white bedding and keeping a daily photographic record to keep track of how your hair loss progresses through time. The third thing to look for is receding temples. Guys, male pattern baldness is a condition with a well-described predictable progression. In other words, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And for the majority of guys, the beginning stages will lie within the temples. One day you look in the mirror and you realize that your temples look unusually large, larger than you actually ever remembered them. You know, you end up going through old photographs of yourself and now you have irrefutable evidence that you're not imagining things, that your temples have indeed grown in size. Bad news guys, I'm afraid that this pattern of hair loss is a hallmark of male pattern baldness that sets it apart from most other hair loss conditions. Number four guys is thinning in the crown. Though the majority of men start losing their hair in the frontal hairline, and the temples in particular, there are some who will actually develop hair loss in the crown or vertex area of the scalp first. Now the crown will be a more difficult area for you to see compared to other parts of the head, and your hair loss might be quite advanced by the time that you notice this. It might even be someone else, like a friend or family member who brings it to your attention for the first time. A thinning or balding crown is a very strong indication of early male pattern baldness. And number five guys is a visible scalp. We left what can be perhaps the most alarming, distressing sign of male pattern baldness for the end, a visible scalp. One day, usually under very harsh lighting, you realize that you can see your scalp directly through your hair. Now, if you never had any issues with hair loss in the past, you may have never seen your scalp before, or it might have been so many years ago that you don't even remember what it looks like. So it might come as a shock to many when they see a recent photograph of themselves or stare in the mirror under very strong lighting and they're actually able to see the scalp underneath the layer of hair. 
Guys, if you experience this, you probably have a more diffuse pattern of hair loss that can be more difficult to spot compared to frontal recession or a balding crown. By this point, you have probably already lost quite a lot of hair. Now, any of the signs above in isolation should be further looked into, but if you have two or more of these in combination, then you should be particularly concerned. And especially if there is a history of male pattern baldness running through your family, there is a good chance that you two are going bald. But whatever you do, do not panic. The fact that you are viewing this video now means that you are probably at the early stages of your male pattern baldness, when you have the most treatment options available to you and the best chances of halting the condition's progression. If you take action now, you have all the chances in the world of stopping the hair loss, regrowing some of the lost hairs, and maintaining a decent head of hair for many decades to come. Now guys, have you noticed some of the first signs of male pattern baldness that we have described in this video? Well, if yes, as we just alluded to, you have come to the right place at the right time. Simply click the link in the description below so you can access the free Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You will have to answer a few short questions and then you will receive free expert advice on how to regrow your hair. Guys, if you really are concerned, please do take a few minutes to do this hair loss quiz. We hope you find this video useful and we'll see you in the next video. This is Leon from hairguard.com.